Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just went to Spirit Halloween and basically Spirit Halloween is a store that just sort of pop up coming around Halloween time and you can get costumes, makeup, everything to do with Halloween and like parties and stuff, costumes, dressing up, you can get it all at that store. But basically I wanted to test out pre-made kits for Halloween, so SFX like prosthetic kits that you can buy. So pretty much when it comes to doing cuts and stuff, you're looking at stuff to do with zombies. Usually that's what people are doing with like prosthetics. So uh, this is the main one that I bought and this is a zombie, they call it a makeup kit, but it's pretty much got your prosthetics. It's got your paints, it's got your spirit gum, which is basically an adhesive. So the prosthetics can stick to your skin and then it's got your blood and your applicators. And it's got a brush right there. And this was $13 for all of that. And that's pretty good. You only do have like two prosthetics though. So you might have to like change it up with like more makeup. But 13 bucks for this if you're just going to a party or anything. That's pretty darn cheap. So I also found this which I thought was pretty cool. Teeth, nose. So it looks like your mouth is like ripped open. And this was $10. And then I then got one for my neck. So this is a pretty much a larger piece. Uh, it's like rolled up inside there so when I get it out you'll be able to see properly and that then comes with your spirit gum to adhere it to your skin and blood just to make everything sort of work together and then in case I wanted to do anything else I got this scar putty so basically this is something that will stick to your skin and then you can mold it into a scar and then basically cut down the middle with like a pencil or whatever and then apply blood and you get sort of the same effect as you do with the prosthetics so I got this in case the other ones didn't really complete the look and I wanted to add a little something else. So altogether the four things that I bought came out to a total of $43, which is pretty good considering they are kits so you shouldn't need anything else to complete a look. We're going to see how that goes uh, in case it's missing something. Yeah, we're just going to play. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with the zombie makeup kit. So I am going to go in and these are the two prosthetics that you get with the zombie kit. This one is sort of, that's a bite mark I guess, and that one is some sort of infection or whatever. Okay, I am going in with my spirit gum and just using the sponge that it came with. Oh, that stinks. Oh my god, I forgot how bad spirit gum smells. Make sure you have a towel nearby because that just leaked all over my hand and now my hands are sticky. I'm just gonna apply this one up here, I think. I think the main part you just got to make sure is that your edges secure down because if they're sticking up you're going to be able to clearly see that it is like a stick on piece. Okay so this is the neck prosthetic part that you get. I thought it was a lot bigger something that would wrap around a little bit more but I guess I suppose that that is that's okay. So what I thought you usually do was apply a prosthetic and then you would go like around the edges with liquid latex and that would sort of blend your prosthetic into your skin. However, none of these kits actually come with liquid latex, so I am going to skip that part. But I am now going to move on to the mouth portion. So that one I wouldn't really say is a kit, it is literally just the two prosthetics uh, and it does say that you will need to apply it with professional gum. So if you're getting that one, you would need to buy the other one separately. Okay, so overall, applying the prosthetics, super, super easy. Even if you have no experience doing it whatsoever, it is so, so easy. So that is a great start. They're sticking really well, they're comfortable. This part looks quite realistic when I like shade it in, it'll look a bit better. But super easy to apply, I mean, not bad at all for 40 bucks. Um, so let's go ahead and start actually adding some foundation and some color. 
into my skin. Just one thing though, the spirit gum that came with the zombie kit is something that you cut off so it isn't reusable, there's no lid to it. So I think that these things are intended for like a one use only sort of thing. So what I was originally going to do was apply the prosthetics and then use my cosmetic makeup like primer and foundation to do the rest of my face. But because it comes with this, I'm not going to do that. I am just going to stick to the kits. So literally if you have nothing on you, you can go to the store and do one of these looks without even needing your makeup. Which means I have to use this. So I'm firstly just applying that skin shade uh, on the prosthetics to make it look more my skin colour and less yellow. Oh, this brush is absolutely terrible. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to use this for. So now I am going to go in with a sponge because that brush was absolutely killing me but I am going to go in with that same shade there and I'm just going to start putting that basically all over my skin. So your skin isn't meant to be completely flawless, you know, um, you're a zombie, you're dead. <laughs> so I suppose using this cream paint is going to be okay. Alright, so I've pretty much done the base to what I wanted. I'm now going to go in with the darker shade and try and darken this up a bit, the edges to make it look more bruised. These paints definitely aren't very, very good at blending, but they're doing the job, so you just gotta, you really gotta work it in. <laughs> I keep wanting to reach for a makeup brush to blend this out properly instead of this stupid sponge, but I'm trying so hard to just use the stuff that they give you. I'm just gonna go over these white parts because they're looking a little white instead of dead. I'm just gonna add some color into them. I'm now going into that red shade. Actually, you know what? I'm going to mix these two together and get sort of like a, a real like dead sort of blood shade. Alrighty, so now I am going to move on to the blood part of this. This is um, blood scab, so it's a little bit of a thicker blood, and then this one is actual, like, not actual, but it's, 
thinner liquidy blood so i'm going into the blood scab right now i'm just squeezing it out onto a thing and then i'm just going to apply it with the brush and i think i'm just going to sort of go over some of these parts um to make them look more sort of 3d and realistic It also helps if you've got a bad sort of line, putting the blood around it covers that line up. So it's, it's a quite a good trick as well. I'm now going to go in with the liquid blood and add it into right in the cracks to give it that wet, fresh, dripping blood look, which is, sounds absolutely disgusting, but it looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get some like blood dripping. Oh, okay. Stop going under it. Oh, 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 that's gonna drip everywhere. Yeah. As you can see, I think it turned out pretty damn good uh, considering it was about 40 bucks. I didn't even use this, which was $4, so it was actually $36. The prosthetics went on really easily, the creams worked, the blood worked, everything worked. So you don't need to be any sort of good at makeup whatsoever to make this work. You can just literally copy the pictures that they have on the packaging if you wanted to, if you didn't really know how to apply the blood or whatever but I think it turned out pretty darn cool. So I'm gonna go take some pictures and we'll see how it turns out. I will insert them and yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.